Welcome to the Mono Sequencer Quick Start video. Let's dive right in. Locate Max for Live under the Browser section, then open up the Max MIDI Effect folder. Locate Mono Sequencer and drag it onto your track. Immediately, the first thing I want to do is transpose the output so it matches the tonal center of my track. Next, I want to set the pulse of my sequence. Right now it is set to 16th notes. We can hear how quarter note pulses sound, or eighth notes. I'm going to go back to 16th notes and add some swing because I'm feeling some swing from my backing tracks. Now we can start changing pitches. Mono Sequencer is fully chromatic, but if I constrain my pitch selection to a minor scale, I'll be able to work faster. When you stop Live's transport, Mono Sequencer stops and picks up where it left off. If Transport Sync is enabled, Mono Sequencer will start from the beginning of its sequence when you hit play. You can also change the number of steps in a sequence. Now Mono Sequencer is looping this set of 11 notes. If I click the Reset 1 button, every measure Mono Sequencer resyncs with Life's Transport. That's everything you need to know to get started, but there's more to Mono Sequencer than just notes. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series for some advanced techniques.